Flight audio test. Hopefully you can hear me. Pull up the avionics power on here. All right, transponder, we've got, uh, got 1,200. Garmin is still powering up. There we go. All right, so we're tuned into the Unicom 122.7. I'm going to have 122.3 as my uh, standby. That would be Dayton Radio. We'll call them to open the uh, VFR flight plan later on climb out. And then, of course, uh, COM2 is tuned to 119.025, which is uh, the AWOS. So we'll listen to that. Oh, one, two, thousand, temperature, two, zero, Celsius, two point, one, five, altimeter, three, zero, one, three. Delaware Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. One, one, three, five, Zulu, weather, wind, two, two, zero, at three. Visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, two, zero, Celsius, two point, one, five, altimeter, three, zero, one, three. Here goes my instructor walking in front of me. He's taking another student Delaware going up to Fostoria. Airport. All right, we'll give a call to taxi here in a second as they walk past. Let them know I'm not going to run them over. <laughs> All right, so the altimeter is set. Radio uh, showing that it's transmitting. I got the taxi lights on. Brakes test. They are firm. And uh, all right, we'll give our call and taxi to runway 28. Delaware traffic, Diamond 454 Kilo Charlie's taxiing to runway 28, departure to the east, Delaware traffic. Yeah, I don't really have to tell them where I'm departing to yet. <laughs> oh well. Clear left and right. Be beautiful morning here at Delta Lima Zulu, Delaware Airport. About 7.30 in the morning. We're going to do a cross-country solo. Shockton, Richard Downing Airport, then to uh, Newark Keith Airport, which is the area I grew up, so I know that airport quite well, although I've never done a landing takeoff there solo before, or even with an instructor for that matter. And then going to follow the Appleton VOR back to Delaware. should be about uh, probably under an hour and a half flight or something like that, if all goes well. Coordinators working. Artificial uh, horizon is alive. We'll get the uh, heading to the compass here. Just slightly off. Not really too much wind right now. Um, it's going to pick up as the day goes on. Actually, wind's a lot right now. It's right around 260 at 30. So first leg's going to have quite a bit of a tailwind. I'm estimating a ground speed of about 140. And that uh, head or tailwind turns into a headwind, so quickly will be a 80 knot ground speed on my second leg. Uh, we'll stop here to get a run up going. Uh, also have to get my knee board affixed to my leg, which I forgot to do a couple minutes ago. All right, so to continue down the checklist, uh, we are on the run up area, so the brakes are set. Trim is neutral. Flight controls. Up, down. Up, down. Can't 
proceed to the elevator. Well, yeah, I can. And full range of motion, rudder pedals test. There we go. I will test the warning lights. They're lighting up like they should. Mixture is already at the best power. We'll go ahead and do a run up to 1700 RPM. And we'll do a mag check. Light droppage there, back to both. Left. Back to both. Suction's looking good. Oil pressure is where it should be. Oil temperature's coming up. Uh, voltage meter's looking good. Fuel pressure and everything that's coming alive here. Uh, we'll go ahead and test the amp meter. A little bit of a droppage and then back to charging. Alright, now we'll uh, go ahead and test that throttle friction as we're bringing it back to idle. Make sure it doesn't cut out on us. Alright, so the vacuum looked good, alternator a little bit good, fuel pressure is good, oil pressure is good, oil temperature, uh, ignition is back to both, throttle is back to where it needs to be. Alright, so flaps now to takeoff, fuel pump is still on, canopy is locked, heading indicator is set to the compass, we're squawking 1200, altitude mode on the ADS. Strobe lights come on, taxi lights off, landing lights on. We'll note the time is 7.42 a.m. All right, we'll give our clear. It takes mom and dad, let them know that it's gonna be about an hour. All right, at this time I'm going to ignore my phone completely. All right, checking for traffic. I have not heard anything on the frequency all morning, but you still need to check and look. Yeah, I'll give her a call. Delaware traffic, Diamond 4 Kilo Charlie's taking off runway 28, departure to the east, Delaware traffic. Our initial heading on the uh, climb out is going to be 9-8. Right down the runway. All right, feet to the floor. We'll give her full throttle. Power is set. Engine instruments in the green. Airspeed is coming alive. Lift off right at 55. Climb out at VY. Which is 75 knots. Positive to climb, clear of obstacles, raise the flaps to cruise. Delaware traffic, diamond four kilo, Charlie's turn left crosswind, one way two eight, uh, left downwind departure to the east, Delaware. Pattern altitude is 2,000 feet, so we'll go ahead and level off there momentarily. The air is ultra smooth up here this morning. We are now leaving the traffic pattern, so we'll go ahead and climb up to our uh, 3,500. We're going to turn it towards the
the airport a little bit to intercept that course. Hey, Delaware traffic time with 4 Kilo Charlie's departing to the east. Delaware. Test, test one, two, three. Dayton Radio, Diamond, November 454, Kilo Charlie. November 454, Kilo Charlie, Dayton Radio, go ahead. Oh yeah, uh, Diamond 4 Kilo Charlie is about uh, one mile to the east of Delaware at uh, 3,300, climbing 3,500. I would like to open VFR flight plan if I can. Diamond 4 Kilo Charlie, roger that, that VFR flight plan is active as of 1147. Zulu pilot force are appreciated, monitor Delaware, automated weather for current altimeter, have a safe flight. Thank you very much. Alright, so the VFR flight plan is opened up. We are now reaching 3,500, so we're going to level off right here as we're intercepting our 8-9 force. And, uh, I had it planned out that we'd be over top of Meyer when we reached the top of climb. That's about right where we are, so it always feels good when things go according to plan. And I don't know if I'm dyslexic or not, but my course is not 8-9, it's 9-8. There is a difference. We've got to correct for that wind. All right, so my cruise checklist, I'm going to go ahead and get that out. Landing light can come off. Fuel pump can come off. And it's, oh, yeah, we're all on here. Throttle is required. Mixture as required. Bring that back just a little more while. Wow. Flaps our crews, make sure instruments, everything is still in the green. We got a fuel, a full fuel tank. And finally, heading indicator to compass, which we will monitor as we go along. All right, first checkpoint is going to be uh, Chap Memorial. haze this morning. It's kind of hard to see very far. Right now we're holding 3,500 and uh, RPM is about 2550. Uh, indicated airspeed is 105 knots. And we're 
about a minute early on this checkpoint here for uh, Knox County. So that tailwind is true. The next checkpoint is Bladensburg, Ohio. go ahead and uh, get my radios tuned for Richard Downing ahead of time so everything's where it needs to be. I like to have uh, everything set up so I'm not rushed at the last minute. Area WAS is 118.875. Bladensburg should be off my right wing. One of the things they said to look out for when I was calling the weather briefer was a hot air balloon. That often uh, gives rides from surface to 10,000 feet, but it's just a couple miles south of uh, Kishokton. But with the winds pushing anything up towards the airport, I definitely need to be on the lookout for that. Elevation at Richard Downing is about uh, 979 feet, so pattern altitude is 2,000. I have uh, 1,500 feet to lose, and I'm about 12 nautical miles away. I uh, can lose altitude at about 500 feet per minute, maybe a little shallower than that, maybe 300 feet per minute. It'd take me about five minutes to set this end.
I'm going to go ahead and start that descent now. Let's get that checklist out. Bottle is required. We'll go ahead and pull it back about 1500 RPM. We're enriching the mixture a little bit. Fuel pump can come on. Check for traffic out the window. You don't want to have your head down too much or for too long of a period of time. All right. All right, listen to the AWOS. Oh, one, two, thousand, temperature, two, one, Celsius, three point, one, five, altimeter, three, zero, one, seven. To Shockton, Richard Downing Airport. Automated weather observation. One, two, zero, six, Zulu, weather, wind, two, zero, zero, at five, visibility, one, zero. The wind's two, zero, zero, at five, we're landing on runway two, two, so it's going to be a little bit of a left uh, quarter and cross, uh, cross one there. That's nothing horrible. Uh, it is up on a kind of a elevated plateau, so it tends to be a little windy and bumpy on final approach, so just keep that in mind. We'll make our radio call. Kashokton, in Richard Downing traffic, Diamond 454 Kilo Charlie's about six miles to the west, uh, inbound runway 22. Kashokton. I currently do not see any hot air balloons. Now you got to be careful when the sun's shining in your eyes. It's very hard to see anything, uh, uh, you know, in that direction because of the glare. I have the traffic, or not traffic, I have the airport there right about my 11 o'clock. Increase power just a little bit, slow that descent rate down. At 2,500, I'm going to keep it there because I'm going to overpass the field. About 500 feet above traffic pattern altitude. And then catch the downwind for 2-2. Pre-landing checklist, seatbelts, harness, I never took off my seatbelt. <laughs> Any light, come on. Mixture for best power. We're about right where we should be. Again, I don't see any balloons or any other traffic. I don't hear any other traffic. All right, fuel pump, like I said, is on, flaps as necessary. We'll tuck that away. Kishok to Richard Downing traffic, uh, Diamond 4 Kilo Charlie's three miles to the west, uh, gonna overfly the field, and uh, inbound for runway 22, Richard Downing. Or Kishok and whichever. So the airport is uh, directly in front of me. I kind of turn and cross and then do uh, 270 and catch the downwind. Richard, uh, Richard Downing, traffic, diamond four kilo, Charlie's over, flying the field at 2,500, we'll uh, catch the left downwind for 2-2, Richard Downing. Why there aren't more people out on a beautiful Sunday morning like this, I don't know. Even 
even though you don't hear anything, you still scan carefully, looking for traffic. Nothing's showing up on my ADSP, but you can't always trust that. There's always that uh, one pilot out there that doesn't have radios. You always blame the tail draggers, of course, so. No hate, that's just how it is for them. Begin uh, swinging around here. I'm going to lose the altitude and get down 2,000 feet. I don't want to be descending when I'm in pattern altitude. That'd be bad. So you get down before you enter the pattern. That way you can see traffic better. Kashokton, Richard Downing, traffic, Cessna, Zero Quebec, taxiing to 2 2 Kashokton. Alright, we do have traffic and I see him taxiing towards runway 2 2. Hopefully, I don't put on a display for him. Again, I don't see traffic in the pattern, so I'm going to enter on the 45 here for runway 22. Hey, Kashokton into Richard Downing traffic. Diamond 4 Kilo Charlie is entering the left downwind runway 22. Kashokton. Kishokta traffic, uh, Diamond 4 Kilo Charlie's turning left face, runway 22, this will be a full stop. Kishokta. Kishokta, Metro Downing, Zurich, Quebec, holding at 22, Kishokta. Kishokta traffic time before Kilo Charlie's turn in final, runway 22 full stop, Kishokta.
we'll taxi off here at this uh, uphill taxiway. And we'll let that guy know that we are, we are clear, even though he can be. Hey, Kashokton traffic, uh, Diamond 4 Kilo Charlie is clear of 2 2. Kashokton. Kashokton, Mr. Dank traffic, that's uh, 0 8 Quebec, departing 2 2, Kashokton. Oh, I'm not really sure where he's going. He didn't say, but that's all right. Uh, we're going to taxi back down to 2 2, and uh, well, we're going to have a southwest departure. Beautiful little airport. Uh, they used to have like a, a barbecue here on Saturday nights, and we come down here once in a while. Well, actually, just once, but it was nice. I don't know if they still do it or not. We'll keep an ear out, see if he's in the pattern. I don't think he is. He said departure, so. Uh, landing off, taxi off. Could have turned my strobes off, but I'll just keep it on. Nobody else is around early, being blind, being blinded by the light. And the taxi goes downhill here, so can't let the speed get away from us. Nobody's waiting on me, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get a direct set up here to Elo Victor. Ango Alpha. All right, so reset the timer. I'll let mom and dad know that I'm about 25 minutes out. They're going to see me at the Newark Keith Airport as I do a couple, uh, a couple laps. Okay, we'll leave on alone. This is already set up. I've got this set up. So let's go through that checklist now, the pre-takeoff. All right, so flaps at takeoff. Fuel pump is on. Canopy is locked. Heading indicator is to compass. Transponder is still in altitude mode. Strobes are on. Taxi off. Landing on. We'll give our call and uh, get ready to depart. So we're going to take off, climb to 4,500, and uh, our heading will be 251. Make sure there's nobody on short final or anything like that. I don't see anybody. All right. Kishokton, Richard Downing, traffic, Diamond 4, Kilo Charlie's taken off runway 22, departure to the southwest. Richard Downing. I'll get the nose pointed down. All right, so everything's set. Go ahead and get the clock started. And apply full throttle. Power is set. Engine instruments still on the green. Airspeed is coming alive. Zanesville there, that's not us. All right, positive rate of climb, uh, we're clear of obstacles, so we bring the flaps up to cruise. And once we are 500 feet AGL, we'll go make our turn to uh, 251. Actually, we're almost on that heading as it is.
Richard Downing, traffic jam in four. Kilo Charlie is departing to the southwest. Richard Downing. A little bit gusty right here. And as the sun comes up, the visibility is getting better as the uh, moisture towards the surface of the earth is starting to kind of Zanesville. is starting to uh, rise. All right, so I'm saying top of climb is uh, about. Minute away or so? No, no, two minutes. I'll go ahead and get our radios tuned into uh, one two two point seven landing lights can come off. Newark Keith A wants one two one one two five. We are not moving near as fast as we were on the way to Kishakton. The air is still smooth and it feels great. It's beautiful outside. This is, uh, I'll tell you what, I love flying. Back All right, reaching altitude. You can see out the front a whole lot better when you're cruising. <laughs> All right, so cruise checklist is coming out. Okay, come on. Throttle is required. Mixture is required. Flaps are to cruise. Instruments, so we're still looking good. Everything's in the green. Heading indicator to compass. Ground speed 84. I was uh, presuming it would be 83, so that's right on. Uh, Newark East 75 here, Papa Train 1827, Newark East. There's uh, a Dresden, Ohio here to my left. Yeah, it's really clearing up out here. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so my next checkpoint is uh, just off to my left will be the uh, Route 16 crossing with the uh, railroad tracks. We'll see if we can pick up the AWOS for Newark Heath. Altitude 1,800. Newark Heath Airport, Newark, Ohio. Automated weather observation, one, two, three, three, Zulu. Wind, two, zero, zero, at zero, four. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, few, two, hundred. Temperature, two, three, Celsius. Dew point, one, six, Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, one, five. Remarks, density altitude, 1,800. Newark Heath Airport, Newark, Ohio. Automated weather observation, 
one, two, three, four, Zulu. Wind two, zero, zero, at zero, four. Visibility. Please call Delta Downlift to a left. See my checkpoint up there where the highway and the railroad intersect. Rail traffic, 35 Java base, 28 left. Density altitude 1,800. Newark Heath Airport, Newark, Ohio. Automated weather observation 1239er Zulu. Wind 210 at 04. Visibility 10. Sky condition few 200. Temperature 23 Celsius. Dew point 16 Celsius. Altimeter 3015. Remarks, density altitude 1,000. Newark Heath traffic diamond 454 Kilo Charlie is uh, one zero miles to the east inbound runway 27. Newark Heath. to Newark, Ohio, and going to be starting to descend here, so. Nine miles out, it's going to take a while to get down, but pattern, let's see, let's set up for what we're uh, needing to do here. Pattern altitude is 884. Uh, traffic pattern altitude is 1900. So I've got roughly 2,500 feet to lose. 500 feet per minute is about 5 minutes to do that. Alright, and the runway is in sight. by the Longaberger Basket, a gigantic building in the shape of a basket and a pretty famous slam marker in this area. Pretty cool to see from the air too because it looks like somebody just dropped the basket right there on the ground that's oversized.
All right, we'll get the descent checklist out. We are about uh, seven miles to the northeast. The throttle is required. Go ahead and bring it down. Uh, about 20. We're reaching the mixture a little bit. Fuel pump can come on. We are listening to the AWAS. Altimeter is set. Instruments, everything is still on the green. Looking for traffic. Alright, heading into Cater to Company. Traffic, Sportsman 454 Hotel, stops about 5 miles to the west. We'll be over flying air, left midfield cross, left for runway 19, landing on the grass, or main ground. Get my landing lights on just so I don't forget it later. I'll show you Metro Falls, 7264 Echo, downwind 27, I'll show you. Sewer Keith traffic, time of 4 Kilo Charlie's 5 to the northeast, uh, inbound for runway 27. Sewer Keith. This is the town that I grew up in. Hey, grab traffic, 454 Hotel Pops. Overhead now, center of downwind, runway 19 or better. Our friend Grimes, breezing 7802 West, be entering midfield crossway, landing 20. And in fact, I'm looking at the house I grew up in right now. Let's get a pre-landing checklist. All right, we are configured to land to the on to 2.7. That is near Keith uh, frequency.
Keith traffic, Diamond 4 Kilo Charlie is over flying the field at 2,500 and bound to pick up the left downwind one way to 7. Uh, Newer Keith. Keith, traffic time at 4 Kilo Charlie's entering the left downwind, runway 27, Newark Keith. Landing lights on. Uh, Carroll County Skyhawk 2 point golf about uh, 3 miles north now, uh, 2800. Planning a crosswind entry for 25 Carroll County with the traffic. 15. Remarks. Density altitude 2000. Newark Heath Airport, Newark, Ohio. Automated weather observation 1251 Zulu. Wind two five zero at zero five. Visibility two five zero zero five. Newark Heath, traffic down at 4 Kilo Charlie's left base, runway 27, Newark Heath. Hey Joe, your, um, your airplane's showing up on my ADSB. Well, that's good. How about 2275? Roger. Newark Heath, traffic time at 4 Kilo Charlie's on final runway 27, Newark Heath.
All right, we'll taxi off and uh, spin around, come back in for one more. Newark Keith, uh, Diamond 4 Kilo Charlie is clear of 27, taxiing back to uh, uh, runway 27. Oh, well, this is a special place to, to be because I've never actually flown here on my own. In the flight simulator, I probably have about 2 million hours here. short, just go through that pre-takeoff. Flaps are at takeoff, fuel pump is on. Canopy is locked, heading indicator to compass. There we are. Uh, strobe still on, taxi, or yeah, landing light's still on. All right, so we'll make our call. Here, Keith, traffic time before Kilo Charlie's taken off for runway 27, left closed traffic. Near Keith. plane on the taxiway, we'll have to watch out for him. And our power is set. Engine instruments are in the green. Airspeed's coming alive. Ready to climb and the clear of obstacles will go ahead and bring the flaps up to cruise as we aim for about 1400 feet before we turn across. Sure, Keith, traffic diamond four kilo Charlie's turn left crosswind two seven. Sure, Keith. Sure, Keith. Traffic time at 4 Kilo Charlie is left downwind 27. Near Keith.
Nurkey, traffic time at 4 Kilo Charlie's uh, left base, runway 27. Nurkey. Newark Heath traffic, Diamond 4 Kilo Charlie is uh, turning final. Runway 27, Newark Heath. Uh, the guy on the biplane I don't think has radio, so I have to make sure that he sees me. <laughs> Nurkey, traffic time at four kilo Charlie's tax in runway two seven. Nurkey. Not bad on time. We'll have to watch out for that traffic. Obviously, no radios on board, and uh, wow, that thing's beautiful. Beautiful. We're good on fuel, still about three quarters of a tank. We've burned about six. All right, we'll hold it off right here. We're gonna do uh, just a, a quick pre takeoff. All right, flaps are takeoff. Fuel pump is on. Canopy still locked. Heading indicator to compass. Transponder strobes on. Time noted. Brakes release. Landing lights on. Alright, looking again for traffic. We're going to let that guy climb out a little bit more. Newark Heath traffic, Diamond 4, Kilo Charlie's taking off runway 27, departure to the northwest. Newark Heath. And I see nobody on final, or uh, base for that matter. And the traffic that departed, I have him. He is, uh, looks like he's standing in the pattern. All right, lined up. We'll give her full power. Engine instruments in the green. Airspeed is definitely alive.
and Newark Heath traffic, Roman 96 Limo will be taking off 27 Newark Heath. All right, positive rate of climb, and we are clear of obstacles, so flaps to cruise. Newark Heath traffic down to 4 Kilo Charlie is departing to the northwest. Newark Heath. Heading a 317. Planning lights can come off. Or be climbing at the 4,500. Traffic experimental November 729 Kilo, 10 miles northwest of Landing Hill County. Carroll County, to which you're turning down. Four miles final for runway 28. Full stop, out of that. Intercepted our uh, course, the CDI Center. So uh, we're, on a, we're on a radio 3-3, but our heading is not going to be 3-3 because of our crosswind. We've got it coming just off that left wing. So I've got a course of 317 to uh, accommodate for that. Frequency tuned to 1227 because Delaware is on the same. But I can go ahead and turn the AWOTS over to 119.025 to have that stand for, to have it ready. Okay, flying over the little town of Granville. Love that place. Great, great bike path. Um, we're training for a marathon right now. Mom and I are running a marathon in October. Nationwide Children's Columbus uh, Marathon. It's her first, my second full. We did a 16 mile run last week. International now. Uh, I've got them in sight, but I, I don't really want to hit the Class C airspace this morning. I don't know if it's busy, but eh. Newark Heath, uh, Cherokee 168, taking off runway 27, departing to the west. Newark Heath. Alright, we had somebody uh, departing Newark Heath to the west. That uh, should be should be an issue. Fuel pump off throttle as required, mixture as required. Carroll 
County, uh, keep our mail, 29 Kilo, left base, 25 Kilo County. All right, where it needs to be. Probably going to form his final on way to Adela. 769 Mike is left downwind, 25 Kilo County. All right, and flaps are cruise, indeed they are. Instruments are still in the green. Range traffic, flight design 210 Alpha 10. And heading indicator to compass. Uh, inbound for 25, full stop, five minutes away, Lorraine County traffic. And Lorraine County traffic, cap 3427, we'll be looking for the stop, 2,000, uh, 500 feet, and we'll be looking for the flight design aircraft. Uh, once we hit this uh, VOR, we're going to be on the outbound 294. I thought I saw the little station out in the middle of that field. I'm not going to chase the needle, it's going to start going haywire here in a second. Quebec Romeo is departing to the south, Green County. And we should get a flip here in a second, from two to from. Bye, Carl County. Here's the flip, uh, heading at 294. Actually, the heading is 288. You definitely want to be keeping your eyes out when you get close to anything that would uh, suggest congestion, like airports, BORs, uh, places where the highways in the sky tend to converge. Johnstown, that should be one of my checkpoints. After that VOR. And it is, and we are passing just north of it. Or, yeah, just north of it. As planned. And even though we're about 20-some miles from New York, I actually could see about where it is. It's getting pretty clear. There's good visibility out here. If I can see Delaware, I can see Columbus. I can barely still see Newark. I mean, visibility is really nice. A little town of Johnstown. I used to work at the post office there. Hey, Carl County, 20864, turning going Back when I worked for the post office. Being a milk carrier is not so bad. So, Johnstown being a checkpoint, uh, let's see where I need to be. No, I'm sorry, that was just more like a cross check. <laughs> My actual next checkpoint is a Hoover Reservoir, and that's directly ahead here. I just read the paper this morning that uh, somebody drowned in the Hoover Reservoir this week. Very sad. Young teenager, I think. He just went up to Fostoria and back, and he's going to beat me back to the airport. Oh, well. I think that second landing at... That second landing at Newark Heath is uh, what put me behind, but... I've got the airplane rented for another 45 minutes. We're good. 
aircraft. Three County traffic, cap on 262 Mike Alpha, left down with 25, and we'll keep the pattern line to give you some time. Three County. Ground traffic, Skyhawk 8, 448 uniform, west and bound for... Reservoir is the last checkpoint. It'll be about 12 miles to Delaware from there. Seven and a half minutes from that point as well. That'll be a nice little cruise. In the meanwhile. I'm kind of flying parallel, almost right on top of uh, Route 37. That's uh, the highway between uh, Sunbury and Johnstown. I travel that route a lot when I go to Newark to visit mom and dad. So just planning ahead, as I hit this last checkpoint, I might veer a little bit off to my left just so I can pick up that downwind to runway 27. I'm not going to fly straight in. We'll enter the pattern. Still staying on that radio, that 294 out of uh, Appleton, Alpha Papa Echo. Cruising along here at 4,500, we're about, I want to say about 18 miles out of uh, Newer, or De Delaware. I'll go ahead and load it up here in the GPS. Delaware, Cessna 2634 Echo, three miles to the north. Uh, inbound for midfield, crosswind to, uh, downwind to a Delaware. Green County traffic, uh, Mac 11, flight of 4, the 11360. 17 miles, 17.2, so my estimation was pretty good. Time to use the GoPro in the cockpit. I see uh, got a little bit of uh, traffic down here to my two o'clock. He's uh, uh, it's saying on here he's 1,500 feet below me. It looks about right. He's at 3,000 on a Sunday morning. Anybody flying at 3,000 is on the way to get a pancake breakfast somewhere. Anyway, it's my first time to have a GoPro in the cockpit. Actually, uh, scratch that. It's my second time to have a GoPro in the cockpit. First time to have it turned on. <laughs> I was going to record last night's flight, but it wasn't a solo because of the winds. Newark heat traffic. Grumman 96 wind is about a mile north. All right. Last cross. Uh, checkpoint has been crossed. Delaware traffic, Diamond 4, 5, 4 Kilo Charlie's, 1, 0 miles to the east, inbound, runway 2A, Delaware. Well, my last solo was uh, a bit interesting about this point when I got to uh, traffic, this uh, location. I was looking up, uh, up ahead and there was a big thunderstorm right above the airport, so I had to do a little bit of uh, buying time out in the fields for a while until it passed. There's a storm right behind it too, so I had to put it down between the systems going through there. Today should be a little less uh, uh, eventful, I would hope. Uh, listen, they want. 
automated weather observation. One, three, two, six, Zulu, weather, wind, two, four, zero, at, seven, gust, one, four, visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, two, four, Celsius, three point, one, five, altimeter, three, zero, one, four, remarks, density, altitude, two, thousand, Delaware. All right, so winds 240 and about 7. Again, off my left, just a hair. But there's a gust. Gust 1-4, let's hope it's not any more than that. Delaware Charlie Baron, 9-8 Quebec. Starting runway 28 and be uh, straight out to the west door. Descent. Bottle is required. Make sure it's a little bit richer than what it is now. Fuel pump can come off. Drive. We already listened to AWAS. We'll listen to it again here in a second. Instruments are all in the green still. Urbana traffic, 9 or 2, 3, 9 or X-rays. Uh